All right, Chronicles of Beard coming at you. Welcome back, folks, to another episode. And uh, today's video should be kind of a quickie. I think it should be a quick one anyway. You're probably getting sick of the sight of this room by now. I know I am. But um, yeah, sadly, no chance of um, any restaurant challenges at the moment. Although, one of Mrs. Beard's friends told her that apparently there's a, a takeaway not too far away that does a food challenge under normal circumstances. I guess you would do it in their shop, but they also offer it for delivery, which sounds like a bit of a laugh, so I thought I would order it. Not seen any pictures, so I'm not sure how big this thing is. The place is called Crown Pizza, and I think looking at their address, it's actually only about a mile away from where we used to live in the old house. All right, so let me show you. I'm gonna show you on my phone so I don't have to turn the laptop around, but um, here at the top, you can see there's a section that says man versus food somewhere around there and within that section there's something called there's an interesting name it's called the uh hangover pie hey it's not weird it's pretty cool actually a crazy pizza pie <laughs> not sure what makes it crazy crazy pizza pie stuffed with layers of donna that's uh donna kebab meat pizza sauce mayonnaise chips two tubs of garlic mayo and uh a bottle of coke insane eating challenge Good luck, 20 quid. So let's order it. Not sure how big it's gonna be, not sure how much of a challenge it'll be. Hopefully it's big, so I'm famished, but um, let's get it ordered on Just Eat and take it from there. All right, that is not half bad. It's um, It's pretty big, bigger than I expect it to be, I think. Challenge also includes one and a half litres of uh, a beverage of your choice. I went with um, Diet Coke, save some calories. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get the let's get the timer started. I guess I'll, I'll put that there. I'm gonna tear the box open a little bit so you can kind of see inside. Oh, I forgot to say, who's good? What a day. What's up, here, homie? Welcome back to another video, and um, I'm making some weird eating sounds at the start there. You have to let me off. I was pretty <laughs> pretty hungry when I started, but um, yeah, hope you're all doing well. And um, although you know it's been a little while now since uh, the last restaurant challenge, I don't see that changing uh, for the next few weeks at least. What's what's the next best thing? A, a food challenge by delivery. Oh. There's that sound again. I'm, I'm starting to realize why so many people watch with the sound off and then subtitles on instead. You know, ordinarily, I would say there's no place for kebab meat on or in or anywhere near a pizza. But um, this actually really works with the pizza sauce and the mayonnaise in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, cannot fault it. This was a surprisingly enjoyable meal. It's essentially... It's kind of like a calzone, uh, I don't know, it's, it's more like just a huge doughy pizza and the, the, the fillings or the toppings are not toppings, they're fillings and they're in the middle. In this case, it's, it's just pizza sauce, some kind of garlic mayo and um, I think a few different types of, uh, of kebab meat, which doesn't sound that appetizing, but it was, it was good. I mean... It might not look like much, normally there will be food just covering the entire table, but it's just the density of it is actually really quite difficult to eat. It tastes good though. Which is a surprise to me because typically I hate kebab meat. Hate's kind of a strong word. I think that might just be a grudge I'm holding after attempting Britain's biggest kebab a few weeks ago. I can tell people out there are already getting triggered. I'm gonna use a dip. I think this is garlic. I don't actually know that it that it was garlic. It tasted kind of like uh, a half and half between garlic and like a sour cream or ranch style dressing, but it was it was thick. Um, I enjoyed it though, kind of like a, just a herby mayonnaise, and it definitely helped lube up uh, the dough because it, it was getting a little um, a little bit stuffy at this point. Oh, the neighbor's kid's staring at me again. 
I better not wave. I think last time I waved and kind of came off the wrong way. <laughs> That's what you get for being friendly these days. I think it's the beard. Beard wearers are heavily stigmatized. Ooh, it's taken me almost 10 minutes to do three quarters of this thing. That shows you how dense it is. That's like the entire length of Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. 10 minutes. <laughs> I've eaten like 32 hot dogs and buns in the same time. Yeah, oh, oh really, did you? Can we get the, the, the director's cut with the, with the DVD commentary version of that, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I talk about Nathan's hot dog eating contest a lot. It's how I kind of compare performance, I guess. It's a good aggregator. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the, the finest advertisement for Diet Coke, but... <laughs> I prefer the taste to um, regular Coke, so... Yeah, imagine that, though. I could be the new face of Diet Coke. Imagine me walking around topless with a garden hose, spraying myself with garlic mayo. All right, the kebab meat is done, and actually... I enjoyed that. Probably the first time in my life I've actually enjoyed kebab meat. I can tell you for nothing, I'm not going to enjoy the chips. <laughs> yeah, that's not much of a, a spoiler. I'm still not the biggest fan of uh, chips slash fries, whatever you want to call them. And at this point, they're pretty cold, dry, jagged, unpleasant to eat. But um, it's got to be done, I suppose. It's the cheapest of tricks when restaurants just pad out food challenges with tons of chips or fries. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, it happens though a lot. One of the sneakiest tactics in the book when uh, restaurants are putting together food challenges, normally pad it out with some kind of potato product, usually fries, flipping Wazix. I was actually really enjoying this up until the point <clears throat> that I started eating the chips. Almost there. Yeah, almost, buddy. <laughs> almost. I should say, actually, um, that reminds me. I just coughed a little bit there. A few people <laughs> in the last video, they were like, oh, COVID cough. It's not. It's just a little bit of mucus because, you know, I'm eating a lot of food. It happens. I think that could be uh, the worst chips I've ever eaten. Uh. Error. It's, um, <laughs> it's not the most chips I've ever eaten. I think that is, without doubt, uh, the poutine contest last year. I think I did like 16 pounds there. Admittedly, they were covered in gravy and cheese. Oh. <sighs> Whew. That took 27 minutes. And I guess the Diet Coke's included, so... Gotta finish that too. Damn straight, no slacking, son. Get it down, yeah? Ugh, oh, bubbles. Having a flashback. Wasn't that the name of Michael Jackson's monkey? This actually really reminds me of um, this giant burger challenge I did in um, Edinburgh at a place called Montpellier's. And it was a delicious burger, but um, it's a really hard challenge. In fact, I think I'm still the only person to actually uh, defeat it. But what makes it so difficult is in addition to the burger, the fries, and some of the sides, you have to drink, I think it was one liter of milkshake and two liters of um, Coke or Diet Coke, right? So that's that's already three liters. That's like 6.6 6 pounds. So that's more than most people could take without the food. This is kind of reminding me of that. That was a surprisingly tough one. So, um, if anyone from Crown Pizza is watching this, does that mean I get like a 20 quid discount voucher or something for the next visit? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll let you off because the actual, the pie, the hangover pie thing was actually really tasty. I really enjoyed that. <clears throat> the chips, not so much, but that was a, that was a proper test. I'm not sure if it's because, again, I did a, I did a full day fast yesterday. I mentioned that in the Peep Show video. I don't know if everyone watching this has seen that one, but yeah, I've done a couple of days without eating any food whatsoever. So before that, 
the last time I ate was like 47 hours ago, so that probably made it a bit tougher. Stomach shrinks a bit, but um, that was uh, a lot of fun. And because I know people out there <sighs> will be missing the part of the video where I asked for the dessert menu, don't worry because this place does desserts. So I ordered one. Nice little free Tupperware box too. Ugh. That's what I call dessert. Carrot cake. I have no idea why a pizza takeaway place <coughs> does carrot cake, but I'm gonna enjoy this. Carrot cake is actually one of my favorite types of cake. It might even be the favorite, unless you include cheesecake, which isn't really a cake. <laughs> 